the way of doing R and B is dead. No, back in the day when you used to do R and B singers, it was on a mic stand and it was like intimately with your microphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that now dead? Now have we, have we lost it? I think it's 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 not dead. It's 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 less used. It's this, but, mm. but look, you don't know what I'm gonna release next. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> KP's gonna you be out know. here doing two I steps. I might be out here doing range scenes and all sorts. Shut up! You're gonna be doing new edition. I wanna see you doing slides. Two step slides <laughs> and like yo silk shirts. Doing all sorts of stuff because. If the music sounds right, we just make the imagery for Let's it. make it work. Yo, I think Silk Shirts ain't never gone out of business, man. Yeah, no, definitely Genuine not. Silk Shirts? Definitely. What? If you're in the right clubs, you will see Silk Shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you will see your eyelids. Like, he silk said, <laughs> you, know when your man, you know when your boy gets in the car and you go, bruv, Bro, what the, you, yeah. you just got a Silk you Shirt. Yeah, don't hate on my Silk, silk Shirt. Silk dog. So I got a Silk Shirt. <laughs> so you a Silk Shirt, homie. Yeah, you man. R&B. That's how I got my little stack. This is to go with you know, your nah, open yeah, shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went out in Santorini, open shirts. Hope Santorini. Hope Santorini. It just it just worked, man. But yo, how you been, man? Yeah, I can't complain, man. We're here, man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yo, I'll get you down here, man. I've known you for shh, too you know, many years. Too bro. many years. But it's not too many. It's actually a good amount of years. You ba- you basically helped me survive some some really different times. So it's it's it's, it's man fun. knows you know you know I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the on the phone. Life. Man, yeah. man was out there talking about some real life stuff, and he was like, "Yo, yeah. talk to me." Oh, yeah, I can't <laughs> lie. I can't lie. But it's good though. But yeah, man, it's been fun. Like we've had the last the last couple of years have been really um good. We've just been getting active, being in the right rooms. Um, yeah, just trying to make sure things are happening basically every day. Yeah, because you're very like I've noticed you're very meticulous regarding to releasing music. You'll never just release music if it's not like every all the I's dot dotted and T's yeah. crossed. Do you know what I think that comes from though? That f- comes from the years of like growing up as a like young youth mm. artist. And just doing mad stuff. Just putting so like, stuff out. Yeah, just doing mad stuff. Like, so <laughs> you just put out a heck of music and you're not even really seeing the... Benefit. No revenue back or nothing. Yeah, yet. so like, I think when you slowly develop, I think you become more... Yeah, like you say, you just get more meticulous and you understand what 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 it means to release yeah. this m- amount of music. You know, like back in the day, you'll do a tape and I might have 12, 15 songs. And then mm. even one time in, in my career, I was writing... A whole, because I I usually used to write like bodies of work that made sense together, mm. and I remember I was doing that, and then boom, the, the industry changed, bro. It just turned yeah, into a big shift. Gift. Yeah, so I was left with pure music that made sense, <laughs> ten <laughs> songs, and like yeah, they were like yeah, singles, man. And like, you just drop a single, you need to be ready next week. So the next thing, yeah, and yeah, that changed things a lot. That's what pushed me more into writing for other people like quickly and just working off of like working on a fly. Yeah, it's going off a one, one, one. But you, but I felt like you understood the shift, though. You were one of the very few artists that luckily, I felt like has done the work. Yeah, luckily, because obviously that comes from like people around you, family. Luckily, I done the studying as well. Mm. So when I done the degree, I think the degree kind of done two things. It taught me stuff, but it slowed me. But the, 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 <laughs> don't skip like over that. Man hit the degree, yeah, you know, like, man, you like the only road man I know that yeah, went, yo, no, man, to, slapped a degree. You know what I had to do? Like, I'm not going to lie, I was doing music, I was doing everything with everyone, and it felt good, but then I realised there are certain things I wanted to do, like, for instance, work-wise, or, like, I just wanted to develop on a, like, on a faster level, or even publishing deals I didn't understand. Mm. So I was like, raw. Not only that as well, I had artists around me that was doing really well, but they just didn't understand yeah and they weren't reaping the real benefit yeah so i was like i just didn't want to be that guy so mm. i applied one day do you know what really happened to me i'm going to tell the truth but one of my partners who a girl who i was seeing she left london <laughs> and went uni i was like no no i need to figure out how to do this <laughs> she was like what? she tried to leave me behind yeah, i was like well, so what you're going to uni for free yeah she was like are you crazy don't you understand that you get a student loan i was like what Oh, yeah, yeah, show me this. They're so going to pay for this? So she showed me everything and I was like, rah. So one year, I didn't actually go that year that she showed me. Mm. By the time, I think maybe I was breaking up, pushed me properly. Yeah, to yeah, Because I remember, I remember coming to your yard once and you, yeah, were sh- yeah, yeah. you were literally, you had, when it comes to publishing, yeah, I don't think yeah, I know yeah. anybody in our scene that knows as much about it as Bro, you do. I had to do my research. You had the books, like, 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 marked out. Marked out. Like, like, I was like, rough. That was I don't for assignments this. as well. That was more like, <laughs> that's why I think uni was good for me because if I'm honest, if a man just told me like, yeah, do this and you're going to start being able to, yeah. I probably wouldn't even. Take it too serious. I went to uni and I had this guy there standing in front of me. He's listening to my music for the first time mm. and he's a doctor of music and he's saying, Malachi, come, I want to talk to you. And he said, bro, what you been doing? Like, how many years have you been doing it? And et cetera, et cetera. And he even asked me, like, so why are you here? Mm. And I explained to him, and he said, all right, cool. 
And then from there, he just had me. And then there was another guy who worked with me. His name's Eddie Jenkins, and he showed me how to play the piano. Mm. But he also worked with um, the likes of Example, The Streets. Like, he'd done a lot of work. Mm. And for him to take time... To even explain. Yeah, there's yeah. another guy that worked with us called Shy Cookie. And he done a lot. I don't want to say names of songs, but he done a lot. If you do research, he done a lot of production. Mm. And I sat with him some evenings, mm. like seven o'clock in the evening, just sitting with him and learning stuff. And he was like, yo, you're a bit different, you know. Because I was a bit older when I went to uni. He just kind of put it on the table. He's like, look, this is what you need to do. Yeah. And if you need my help. So these people were big. Well, they're they're big game grown, changers. Yeah, yeah. Men, 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 like mentors in a way. And they took me and showed me, well, this is how you need to approach life. And especially as the, a creative so yeah, just having time with them, even just doing sessions with them as friends after mm. that showed me, okay, mm. so this is how it works. Oh, oh, I can just do that. And I might not need to actually be the artist and stuff like that. It just yeah, there's educated. loads of avenues. And I think by yeah. having I think having those mentors will definitely yeah, show you places that you didn't think yeah. were even available yeah, to you. Open my life, yeah. Because mm. I didn't even know about sync. Like I knew about it. I heard something, I'll play computer and hear something. Or I'll go in a man's yard and I'll hear something. I'm like, yeah, that's my man's beat. Or, but I didn't really understand the process. Like, mm. I didn't really understand that. Sometimes these men are working to briefs. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know sometimes you go in a room and man's like, yo, yeah, we need a... You got a right, we need yeah, for this, yeah. for this. Yeah, it makes I didn't sense. Know that. And then that you need done that for me. Yeah. And yeah. it can change you. I think there's so many artists that don't realize that just because you're not like a mainstream pop artist, yeah. that's not the only route. It's not the You only can route. be a touring artist. Yeah, you can yeah. you know, get publishing deal and get placements for. It's ads. you as well, bro. You brought me. <laughs> you, like, I remember sitting in your front room and you was like, no, it's this, this. And I'm like, yeah. And you're mm. like, yeah, did you do this before? And I'm like, no. <laughs> that opened my eyes. I was like, yeah, 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 I need to, yeah. But it's knowledge. I think, yeah. I think, in, in for me, information is key. And yeah, I, and there's so many. And I, I came through an era like same way you did, where like everybody wanted to hold stuff. Like gatekeepers yeah, were a big thing. Kinda, yeah, yeah. And so even when I found myself in the position to give information out, I'm like, yeah, anyone yeah. that I listen, I you being like that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember you was like, yeah, you need to know this. I didn't know about. I'd done songs years ago, and I didn't understand how people was getting on like um supporting acts i didn't understand mm. i just saw a man going on and <laughs> then i realized it took about six ten years yeah and i was like when well, you got there okay i get it now like, so it's just a process it's just a process yeah and it's just a process and I, and I think whenever you start i've learned most but i think most like learning with music comes later yeah. either it comes from like bad mistakes yeah, and then yeah, you're yeah. forced to learn yeah, and yeah. later you know I've, I've people that know me i've been in the industry since yeah 13 so yeah, yeah. if i haven't figured it out by now yeah, something like what he was doing, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. He, and even then, I still had to relearn because when streaming came in, the whole thing flipped. It just flipped, bro. You know, and yeah. even like my older peers were then coming to me talking yeah, about, yeah, 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 yo, yeah. how are we marketing? Yeah, yeah, what's me. what's the new budget? Trust me, I had like, these bigger like old men. Remember, I come from a um, family of musicians, mm. so I obviously started music by my pups and his brothers, and um, yeah, they were doing their thing but that's what vinyl is days yeah and they slowly as artists or rock, um, songwriters and, and a band mm. they slowly veered into the sound system life and I think then they thought they knew what was going on because obviously the releases were coming from Yard they'll just go dub them and that's how it yeah, so it was done it? then when they went to digital like they were like whoa 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 hold how, on how we everybody have out? music for free no and <laughs> like, they were pissed because they're thinking oh, I've spent hundreds of pounds yeah. each week but then it just all changed so even that, like, I had to start showing some of my older family members, like, this is how it works now, unks. Like, mm. bro, man can just do this, and just boom. Yeah. You get me? Even, like, this um, recording on laptops, like, for them... It's, it's alien. They went from analog to digital just about. They were still carrying around big, heavy computers. Oh, yeah, 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 So yeah. when they saw the laptop thing, they're like, so what, so what? Man, can just make music here, so? <laughs> yeah, they're like what logic <laughs> alright man forget our logic I'll do that but how mm -hmm. is that even that though, I'm going to touch on that like yeah. your your music beginnings are, are very natural it's just yeah, in your yeah, house yeah, yeah. so like what was that like growing up just having a bunch of music around you I think it's a blessing man because obviously when you're growing up yeah like depending on where you grow up and how you grow up you need escapes in it and the arting as a family our music was our escape innit mm. so we would do normal day to day life but there wasn't a day like, you know how it is. You don't live without music. So you get in the car, there's music playing. You're in the yard on a Sunday. Mum, mm. he's cooking. There's just music everywhere, innit? So for that, for for us, really, that was our escape. But then when we realised that we had a skill within it, mm. that was then now a rejoice thing. So, like, it's mm. like, you know, some people that don't do music, they listen to music, they dance around, they have fun. Yeah. That's one 
that's one emotion that they get from music. But yeah. then when you can find yourself singing or writing a piece of music or performing as someone else's piece of music. So for me, for instance, eight years old, bro, I will go to like anyone who comes from like the South London, South West London area would know um, the place like Chopper yeah. and Bufoys and etc. As a youth, bro, mm. I used to go to these places, bro, and win competitions, bro. And yeah. that's just not me making Yeah, you're, No, music. but your name was out there. That's me just utilizing music to, to do something. Yeah, but so like as, as like a, as a, as a, and this is before like, like rhythmic, music got really big in ends your name was ringing i was just trying to do stuff as a yeah. youth that was my escape like for instance i weren't ever on like i wouldn't do like, as a young youth i was just on going to these things and just doing dancing or touching mic and mm. that was my escape and everyone used to think wow this little youth moves like a big man but what it was is that my dad had a sound everyone around me was big men i was just like a little youth that was in the in big the room. Men room yeah 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 so i was copying what i would see from my older brothers uncles dad whatever and then bam that just gave me com- some kind of strength so people my age kind of can me, feel like, the vibe yeah 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 yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah my man's holding the vibe like he's starting a party for us as young as or whatever and then that turned into youth club stuff and rare, rare, rare. and then mm. everyone else not everyone else but you'll get a few more people that were the same way inclined they'll get involved and then, then you turn into a little posse doing that for mm. the young youths and that's how it worked for me. And then, boom, when I got a bit older, I started realising about recording music, which my dad was doing from before I was even born. Mm. So I started doing that. And then I was like, right, so this might be my angle. I can write a tune. There's a space here for yeah, you. Yeah, I can yeah. bust a tune. I can Cause I, cause I, yeah, because I definitely said when you came through, yeah, obviously I met you through, like, big up books, big up dips and that. Yeah. And I remember, like, not even Treat, I remember hearing you on a couple of the stuff. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, but this works. And and you would, I, def- I definitely felt like you were making hooks, like, effortlessly. Yeah, if, well, I wouldn't say effortlessly. No, nah, it felt like it. The amount of tunes you lot were churning yeah, out, nah, yeah, you're right, felt like right. you lot were just... Do you know what it is? It was, yeah, it felt like that was my strength. If I'm honest, books, dips, f- my brethren, Fuji, um, Treat, like you said... Like, all of these men were around me and we were working on music. But I'll be honest, bro. Every time I heard him spit a verse, mm. I was like, whoa. So that's why I made sure I was sick of heart. Yeah, sick yeah, of hooks, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I can't really do that. <laughs> that's all mad. Like, you're you doing play, a hell of a your role, though, isn't it? Yeah. So I found my little position and I was like, yeah, I can do this. Mm. And I just make sure it sounds really easy. So I just work. I used to listen to Max B a lot, bro. Yeah, so definitely. You know what? Definitely. I was yeah. talking to Maybach about you guys the other day and I was like, even when I even when I thought about like the way you guys were at max speed shun through, yeah, I was like, this me, is the vibe. That's all I used to, they used to call me that. that they used to be like, yeah, yeah, you sound like Max. Even when I've done a couple of releases, people were like, right, this guy thinks he's the UK Max. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cool. As long as you know yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. I, you know, I remember when, that, when you did the big video and I was kind of like, I'm like, yeah, I bought you all guys and sat you all guys down and I was kind of mm-hmm. like, and it, it kind of made you realise that business is not a conversation you guys are having. Yeah. You guys are having fun with it. Yeah, yeah, we were just working on music and just having fun, but then we're getting older, like these men had youths. Mm. Um, we're all like, I can't remember, who is that? Tw- 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 uh, yeah, yeah, kicking it, mate. Yeah, we was getting into our age group. But it's like. one of them things where I think you, you generally have to have them conversations because I still yeah, feel like uh, even after that chat, like going back to in, all of you individually, yeah, yeah, it showed yeah, me... Mate. You know, there was more levels to you guys. So it even made like a difference, bro. When we yeah. left the house the, that house on that day, we started realizing, oh, something we're doing here would make sense. Mm. So we need to understand it as a business and not just as fun. As fun, yeah. You got you take, but I still I still feel like even now looking at where you guys have gone and more yourself, like yeah, looking at because yeah. your single did very well. Just not be humble luckily, about yeah, it. Luckily, the single's doing what it's meant that. to do. Yeah, don't mind. Because <laughs> I know you can't. You hit me with the carnival one, and and it's, yeah, it's actually that, that's gone good though. It's actually quite fitting that it's we carnival it. weekend right now. Oh yeah, it's cause carnival. This is like oh, I'm yeah? missing it. Corona come and dead it out the place, but you know we got the sun rum. We got the deck, rum so in it. Man, man's alright. Man, 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 I flex it either way. <laughs> but yeah, that carnival joint. See, even that, like for instance. So this is what happens with my music. Mm. So I work on songs, like I say, but then I find myself. That's why I started writing for other people because. I find myself, yeah, writing songs, but knowing it's not mine. Mm. So I wrote Carnival, and I don't know what I've, I, do you know, I produced that record as well. So I produced the rhythm thinking, yeah, let me just yeah. knock around. And then I just started singing this vibe. Like, we're here. We're, I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to answer my phone. Yeah, no, I just started <laughs> singing this vibe. No, I just started. I always do this to myself. Working on that vibe. And as we worked on that same, so I worked on the beat, and then I, and then the man. next day. Take the phone. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> so yeah, with Carnival. So I worked on a beat, and then the next day I just started singing a vibe over it. Okay. I don't know where it came from, I just started working on it. But when I had come away from it that night, that's another thing about recording at home and having your own ability Space. to rec- Yeah, yeah, yeah before yeah. that, I used to just record with other people. Mm. When I started uni, I realised, well, I'm going to have to be able to record my own thing. Mm. 
Mm. Like, no one's gonna do my assignment. No one, for no me, one's bro. gonna do it justice how you yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So after I got into that space, I started doing stuff like that. So then carnival came around. I done a piece on it. I went, I went to bed. I woke up next morning. I listened to it. I'm like, yeah, I'm finishing this. I finished the verses and that, and I genuinely felt like, right, this might not be my song, but the song's finished. Yeah. But as you do, you play it to your brothers and that. They're like, no, you know, you need to release this. Like my little brother was like, yeah, this is. <laughs> soon yeah, as I heard it, I was like, Rampage needs this. Yeah, this is. That's the way we saying. But I played it to my brother. He's like, yeah, this is you. This is where you're meant. And I'm like, right, oh, yeah, all these years. I've been yeah, you've been looking for the thing, and so it's boom, there. I released the record. It didn't even have a video, but it just jumped. Like people, the radio started to ch- like getting plays. We went, we went to carnival. We started trying to shoot, but we was having too much fun. We couldn't even <laughs> <finish the laughs> you video. can't, bro. I don't know why anybody carnival, goes carnival bro. trying to do yeah, work. Let's yeah. be real. No one yeah. does nothing. <laughs> we had fun. We had mad fun. But then the song picked up. The song picked up. Couple sounds even at carnival picked up the record because obviously I done the big dub thing mm. where I just mailed out like 30, 40 dubs, bro. Yeah, and it just went mad. So yeah, that done that, and then boom, the reactions happening. Boom, 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 and then I'm writing more songs, but I'm like. This don't my next song don't sound like yeah, but that's cool. No rules. No, but I felt scared. Like, nah, man, no I rules in this. Space. So <laughs> I'm writing these songs and they're piling up, and I'm like, yo, this sounds like my man could sing that rare, rare. So then I had to go with the next thing. Yeah, which sounded totally different. But then that's that's why I say luckily because that done mad. Mm. This don't mind joint just done a, done a mad. Yeah, thing. I the don't I that. don't mind joint has been on my record, playlist, bro. Bro, it's that's getting a record that. I recorded probably two years ago from now where we are in 2020. Mm. Probably co- recorded it first two years ago. And I sat with the producer, Balloon, who's like an enigma, bro. We can't even find him. So I sat with him one day and I was like, what do we do? And he's like, you're on a joke, bro. You're on a joke. I, was like, I, I don't even know what you're on. He said, you ain't using this. Yeah, and I was like, right, no. Nah. Because I was like, no, nah, this ain't, I think it's a female song. I think it's coming from, a, and he was like, bro, if that's what you want, then let's find the female. Yeah. And we looked, we looked, we looked, and I think it's me as well, because I tried to look in a publisher's mindset, but I can't do it. I'm an artist, in it? So I'm working on other records. So yeah. He was like, bro, I think you should just shoot. And then we shot it, and then, yeah, it just felt right. Yeah, I remember, because you, you, obviously you sent me the video, and I'm always like, yo, why do you guys send me this when it's out? Yeah. Like, send me it before, because I know you're going to ask me for your opinion. Yeah, so yeah. I'm always like, yo, don't ask me for my opinion yeah, when it's out. Yeah, I always come <laughs> to you like that. <laughs> So to me, it made sense, but like yeah, yeah. when I heard it, I was like, "Yo, he's onto something." Yeah, I'm like, glad, but I, but but I've always felt like that's your lane. Like when it comes from yeah, like a yeah, rhythmic, yeah. just effortless play, like playlist music, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So yeah, don't I did don't I was the yeah, whole I'm holiday right. on, just on. I'm glad you enjoy it because <laughs> like, trust me, man. When I make music, you know, yeah, like, you put the song out into the world, and a lot of the times people don't realize that artists are like just getting on with their life so they're doing normal life yeah so like when you see a friend or you see a family member and they say yeah no we really enjoy that song or mm. you see someone you might not even know and they're like oh like they might tweet you or whatever or give you a mm. little shout out so i'm just mad because you work on this record and then you put it out into the world and you don't really especially now with corona yeah you don't really get you don't, to cause see because it's not it's, it's not well it's, it's, no, it's not the same but there's no rules in it like you, yeah, you don't the, get to see what the people are yeah because you can't go to a club and See people like how they gonna react yeah, to it, exactly. you know. It's a different way of doing it because even even now, I'm I know a lot of artists talking to me are like, "How are we gonna perform? Are we gonna be able yeah, to perform?" Yeah. And and it's a weird space because I know that's where you get general that's reaction get back from. Reaction. Obviously, you can get comments from videos and stuff, but it's not the same. Yeah. It's not it's not the the general in in motion people reacting to it straight away. Straight away First yeah, twenty yeah, seconds, yeah, yeah. how do you feel about this song? So I definitely hear you, but you know, new normal. <laughs> new normal, yeah, no, we're working to it. We're working with it. New normal, but I think I think I think realistically, back end of this year, we should be back. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, and, it has and, been a change, and it's been like a bit crazy, but we got through it, and we're good in it. Yeah, we're, we're good. Now, and, like, and it's like we were just saying earlier about you know about being in the creative space. I think lockdown oh yeah. for creatives have been amazing. Let's talk about that. Yeah, man, let's dive into that. it because because like, yeah, what was you do in lockdown? Like, let's be real. When they said you got to stay in your house, how yeah. did you react? Because I know it was mad for you. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, basically, it's kind of mad because me and my partner was expecting a baby. Mm. My first child. So, he was due in May. And I was told in March 20-something that it's the country's in lockdown. Mm. So That's terrifying. It was crazy. So, <laughs> I don't know. We just, like, we obviously locked in the yard done what we was doing trying to chill but it was literally like we moved <laughs> the maddest thing is that we moved to a flat yeah mm. and like literally i don't know what happened but it was like in no time 
the baby was born. <laughs> yeah, like, no, was but like, that, that's 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 fatherhood. That's, that's new fatherhood mad, for you. It's mad. You're then, not even ready. <laughs> we're, we're going to the hospital. It's locked down, so it was kind of difficult, and we went through that motion. But we got out of there really quick. Everyone was healthy and fine. Mm. But yeah, we was locked in the house, so like there was no normal going out for baby shopping. Yeah, there's no doing normal shopping. But what it gave us time to kind of look after little man, we weren't expected like to be out like seeing family you know you usually yeah do that you kind of get that support level yeah mm. so we had to just do it ourselves and we kind of done that it was hard but yeah we were just doing that and then i think i was i wasn't working because i was on paternity mm. but um yeah when work said do you want to come back and i was like yeah yeah they were like do you know what because of corona you don't need to and then that's when i was like "Raw, oh, i've got time yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go i've got back. a minute Let's figure this out. Yeah, I'm doing bare stuff, so I just started, yeah, as you do. Yeah. Just hella writing. But that's like, when you realise all of your skills that you've now developed up to that point now kick in. Because yeah, you can record you yourself, can, yeah. write yourself you're in, in your yard. Like, like you can, you're self-sufficient, so you can record yourself, produce music, you can write music. If you wanted to, you could do any kind of content building. So it might mm. have been short stories, whatever you wanted to do. Like, because obviously as a songwriter, I'm a songwriter, but there's other stuff that I like to do as well. Mm. So I had that free time to really that check, like, right, do I still like this? Let me just do a bit of this. Yeah, I got time. <laughs> yeah, that worked, bro. Like, and then just having the baby, so I got time spending in the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how's that been, though? Yeah, you, that's have, been sick, man. How, how do you feel like you've adapted to, to fatherhood? Yeah, it's, it's took its time. Like, obviously, it's, yeah, bro. Anyone who hasn't got a baby... <laughs> I'm telling you, anyone who hasn't got a baby, bro, it's the, you can't explain it. It's the best thing that's going to happen, happen to you. Yeah. But it's also one of the biggest changes that's going to happen in your life. So It's a reality check, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful, yo. It's beautiful. <laughs> every day is exciting. Every day is new. So it's like, every day something's new. So you see something new in your child mm. uh, development. So like, it's always exciting. But yeah, I wish I'd done it sooner, though, man. Now I understand. <laughs> like now, all my boys, their kids are like twelve years They're old, bro. They're grown now, aren't and they? Now I understand why why they acted the way they did when we was eighteen. Like they had a baby, and they were different. And I was yeah. just like, yeah, I'm gonna have fun. Song. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna go, go out. There, I'm a drink. Having bare fun, <laughs> and they're looking at me like, whoa, how can this shoot? Always having fun, just wants to party. I and like then, my ears suffering. And yeah, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. And then, yeah, yeah, and then I had my own, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. Maybe if I had a baby a bit earlier, I would have wrote more songs. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had a better Cause job. Because you find, I always say to people, when you have children, it, it does one of two things. Mm. So it either like completely show shocks you, and yeah, you go, and you, you go, go for safe, yeah, yeah, yeah. like grab a job, be yeah, safe, yeah, yeah. or you go. I'm going to go a hundred in. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. let me just go. Like, my oldest starts secondary school now and I, I'm like trying to get my head around it. Yeah, it's but, mad, isn't it? You know, I had my first first at 20, but it, I've, I've ever since most people have known me for doing my own company. Yeah, I was 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So most people, yeah, see me and they're like, Jay, you're always on this. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, yo, yeah, gotta man's be. got free pitch. Yeah, it's not a game. <laughs> it's not a it game. It's hustle or it's nothing. It's hustle mode, man. So like, it's good though, man. It's nice. It's nice. If you haven't got kids, I would advise like just get what you need to get like just double up on everything mm. so like just work hard um like luckily i went like i went to uni luckily before that mm. so obviously i've flexed myself to a position where any roles that i am taking are probably going to be on a certain level but mm. if i didn't do that i don't know i don't know how it would be and luckily like um that like, yeah music's like, i'm really really lucky that music's kind of um doing what it's doing for me Mm. Um, and I'm able to just yes, just progress and, yeah, and keep bro. going to that. What's what's so what's what have you got planned for? I know you, the single's doing very very well. Yeah, um, it's on Spotify, everyone. If yeah, you go get it or go listen to it, stream it. Um, don't mind. It's Malachi KP. Don't mind. And on, on but what's, what's so what's what's the next that you could chop out? So more next, singles or yeah. project or so next. To be honest, I'm gonna go with a single. I've got a single. I got quite a few, but I got a single that I really want to give to the people. Mm -hmm. Um. I, 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 yeah, the, it's just the settings, man. I'm just trying to get... Now we're in this new normal, I'm trying to make sure that I'm giving them the right music because mm. I felt like before... Well, so when March happened, I had a song that I felt was going to do amazing things in the summer. Mm. But with the change of like festivals and whatnot, I kind of just pulled back and then... Yeah, kind of gave them Don't Mind and I thought, yeah, this can bubble and then the next one can come. Now where I'm at is that um, the writing... The writing work is just it's just kicked off, so I'm happy mm. doing that and making sure people are enjoying those songs. Yeah, um, and just making sure I'm feeding them when they need it. So I don't want to oversaturate them and give them yeah. too much music. But yeah, it's a single game right now, and we're just working on giving people feel good music, man, and just like music that they can enjoy themselves to and smile to. And yeah, you know man, I, mean? I, I hear it. I before. definitely hear it. Like, um, 
it's it's a it's in a place where I, even when lockdown happens, I had a lot of artists asking me, should they drop music? Yeah, I didn't. Like, yeah. You know, like is it is it is it tacky? Is it is it? Mm, is I was. It gonna, is it? But then bro, I, I, said I was to lost, pe- bro. I, I said know. to people, yo, we need it. I was lost, bro. From March, April, May, I sat down for like three months, like conversating with everyone in my phone book. Like, what do we do now? And I was watching stuff. Like, I'm watching stuff come out. Mm. Watching stuff. Watching um, songs come out. Videos come out. I'm watching um, new docs everything i'm mm. watching everything and i'm like dude do I, I don't know what to do because i was panicking i didn't know what was really happening bro yeah like th- when they said pandemic bro i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> at first i'm not gonna lie at first i didn't really no really, one did let's be I, real I was driving everybody around, went pandemic bro, the roads what? were clear i was driving <laughs> around taking advantage of the clear roads doing mm. all that stuff and then my auntie got unwell and I was like, oh, shit. Now the reality hits in. And then I didn't even know, is it is it disrespectful for me to drop music now? I didn't know, like, yeah. well, people would be like, oh, what is that? What he cares about? People dying and that, and he's trying to drop songs. Yeah, yeah, So I didn't yeah. know what to do. So I was like, raw. And then the song that I wanted, that, that don't mind, that <laughs> I was like, well, this is even work for Are this time. Are we allowed to do this? Yeah, like, raw, no one's partying. You know me already, like, I'm the guy. I will be in a club, like, enjoying my music or, like, making sure yeah. people enjoying their self. But it's one of them tunes that I feel like, that might, don't mind, it's one of them tunes that I feel that like can can resonate for a while. Yeah, I think, I think, that I think also as well, after lockdown, if nobody was a coolie, you could ask them, oh, you said you don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mind. So it was one of those kind of things as yeah, well. We looked at it like that. Yeah, yeah, it can. Yeah, that song there, if I'm honest, bro, I love the song so much. It's like one of my babies. Mm. So when you see a song going from like just the rhythm, because um, Balloon gave me the beat as it was, and then I wrote the song in a, in a short space of time, mm. and I had it there recorded, and I went back to him like, I need to record it again. Yeah. So like seeing the development, I got the old one, and I'm like, just to see it come to life, and then see the numbers it got, mm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely it's for me. It's a it's a it's a. I think it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think the more audience it's exposed to, mm. I think the more numbers it will do. Because I, when I first heard it, I was like, "This is drive time music. Yeah, this is hot like FM. Banging, but yeah, this is choice. This yeah, is yeah, this yeah, can yeah. get run." Yeah, so yeah, I'm all the way for it. I, I, I passed it around a couple of DJs and stuff. And you know, I love you for that. Man. Yeah, man, man's like, man's like, doing doing the thing. Do I gotta do? But um, I just I liked it. So even when I was abroad and I was like, you know, doing your normal Insta videos and stuff, yeah, you know, yeah, me, I'm yeah, always yeah, putting yeah. artists on. As soon as I put it, and my, my wife's like, when I was filming it, you know, you're editing, so you're adding yeah, like yeah, tags yeah, and stuff, exactly. and the wife's going, I don't. Yeah, I was okay. like, yeah, it's so catchy. she feels the vibe. Nah, it's sick, man. <laughs> it's sick when a song like you write a song. Imagine you know, I wrote that to a beat that someone's made without thinking of me. Mm. I've wrote that, and then boom, you go and give it to the people, and the people it catches on. And yeah, like, oh, it's a little catchy that's tune. A nice you know, yeah. he's nice trying to get that shaggy diamond. You know, I'm trying to get that. You know. <laughs> he's trying to get that. Oh, I want this international. Wayne Hector and them, man. I'm learn, trying a to few, write, like, learn a few languages. Yeah, you couple know, new versions. I'm trying to get a couple of versions remixes. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that Latin remix. I need that. Check, bro. I need that Latin <laughs> check, bro. <laughs> get it, bro? Because I know you. Even when it comes to like publishing, I'm like, yo, I know I he's thinking of. He's thinking, yo, I can get this in a couple of. Them, them summer hits yeah, albums. Yeah, like them, uh, them albums, the couple, couple sync stuff. Yeah. Like, even when I was writing it, bro, I thought of sync. I was like, this would be a sick joint, yeah? Yeah. For a movie. Like, not for a movie, but within a movie. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If it, it fits in very well. Yeah, like even, even the video, bro. When I when I spoke to the guy, the guy that um, shot the video is called Modu. Mm. And when I spoke to him, I said to him, like, I don't want it to be your standard performance video. I want it to be like, I want the music to be part of a of a story, like story, a film story muted. Yeah. I want the music just to be a background for that, and mm. it was like sick. So we reverse engineered it. So okay. the music was made already, but we said, look, let's just make it like this was made already. This is the story, and this is just the backdrop just to it. Make it yeah, I think music. I think in that way it it works. Yeah, because you're even if you're not totally listening to the music. It kind of absorbs into yeah. you, and you're watching the story. And obviously, during lockdown, relationships have been an absolute madness. Mess, yeah. So, like, so, yeah. I know a lot of relationship-wise, people have dived into it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So it it made sense, but even as a t- as because it's a nice catchy song, even for a TikTok world. Yeah, it, 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 you know, we well. was, yeah, like and people don't realize that TikTok views are still views. Yeah, no, I didn't. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, I always lost that. You're learning, like, you know. Like I say, <laughs> it always changes. So I've done this study and thought I knew stuff. Someone said to me, I think it was either you. Yeah, I think it was about six months ago, bro. Someone said to me something 
maybe yeah it counts like if someone uses the song yeah, bro, it but, counts as a stream but even just the word tiktok i was just like all right cool yeah some new app <laughs> i didn't really get it. and then like, i was like right and then i went well i think when we released don't mind i downloaded tiktok i searched for my song i was like okay it's here yeah so how does this work and yeah I think it was you even today <laughs> when we spoke about some stuff i'm like yeah the numbers the data on tiktok guys yeah it's mad it's mad it's crazy